Hey, what's up guys? So we are back to where we were last time. For some reason the game started me back there, but not a big deal. It took like 30 seconds to get here. So, ooh, revolver, new gun. I don't know why I swear the revolver was new, like in the... Yeah, I get it. Game. Okay, I thought the revolver was new down there, but apparently it is new right here. Look, okay. Look, I have two. <laughs> the game expects me to have to switch between them, but I have two slots because I'm playing it on cheater mode. Runners. I'll go check it out. Stay with the girl. So, pretty much, if you want to know about um, this game, there are. Well, there's three types of zombies, but I won't spoil the third. Um, there is the two main enemies you'll see throughout the game. Um, well, there's humans, um, of course, but uh, whatever. Humans aren't that big of a deal, but the, the zombie enemies you'll see throughout the game consist of clickers and uh, runners, and then there are a type that's a mix between clickers and runners. So I guess there's four types of zombies, but the fourth one gets a cool introduction, so we will let you see that if you don't know what the game is. But uh, the clicker-runner types are pretty rare. Um, I don't know why I'm doing this, but yeah. Do I have a melee weapon? Did I goof? I goofed. I don't have a melee weapon, don't I? Oh well. Oh, what can I build here? But, yes. So you will see kind of our first interaction here. So the runners, they can see, they're like humans, um, and they don't hear very well, and I didn't explain the clickers um, exactly perfectly last time. So clickers, um, it's not that they're completely and totally blind to the point where uh, they can't see you at all. They click, and it's like bat, it's like echo, location, bat kind of deal. Oh wait, he's exposed to them. So yeah, so the way I like to play this game personally, um, hopefully you guys enjoy watching the game this way, is I don't like doing completely perfect stealth encounters. I like to make it manageable, such as there's a clicker right there. Um, which you do not want to fight along with a few other runners. So I like to take out a couple runners then leave it to maybe you know a runner and a clicker or you know so, so some variation two runners or something but we will see about today we'll see how things work out So here's this guy, but... Oh, we can take him out right this second. Oh. Oh. <laughs> Oops. Look, it was an accident, I swear. Nick, I, head I headshot you! You should be dead! So yeah, clickers, I cannot get I can only... Oh. So I saved myself. Okay, look, it didn't work out. Oh my god! <laughs> Stupid clicker. But okay, right, didn't work out how I thought it would. I didn't mean to grab him and slam his face into the ground, but uh, Joel, uh, Joel had an idea of his own. Let's just get out of here. <laughs> Full? My health is full. I didn't lose any health. You're lying to me. But dang, you said I capped that guy like twice. He didn't want to die. <laughs> Alright, sorry. I was going to explain how I like to play the game. Partly stealth. Get it to a manageable number. And then 
it joined me some shooty shooty bang bangs, but as it turns out, I just I just got to murder them, so. I hate using bottles and silt, I'm sorry, like I understand that's like a big part of the game, but I just feel like it gets them all running away and then they're all frenzied and I don't know. I like to do the sneaky sneaks, <laughs> but instead I, I slammed them, I slammed them to the ground. <laughs> oh, one, one revolver bullet, yay. <clears throat> this is my favorite gun in the game. Uh, incidentally, uh, there is a gun that is my favorite, but again, I will not spoil that gun, and it does not come till the very end of the game. And no, I'm not talking about the assault rifle, the assault rifle you get in the very last mission, but there is a gun you get. It's, it's, the, it's the last gun that you can upgrade and modify that you get that's not the assault rifle, and it is, um, it's fun. Uh, it definitely changes how you play the game. <laughs> But yeah, I was trying to do some stealth, just because the stealth does feel fun and satisfying in this game, but Test go. <laughs> apparently, right, hold on. I don't know, maybe maybe I was wrong, maybe they could see through the wall or something, but uh, yeah, apparently the way I slammed them to the ground didn't really work for the game. And as you saw there, I wasted two shivs, not a big deal, because as I said, I technically have three full shivs. Um, for clickers according to the game but uh because the game doesn't expect you to have that at this point but yeah that is not something you can do um at the beginning of the game where i the clicker grabbed me and i stabbed it at the beginning of the game that interaction is actually pretty hard because you will die um if the clicker gets near you like that with the runner there Whoa. but obviously i didn't because i have upgrades and i intentionally did the game this way because i Down think it's go. more fun yeah, let's get to it. To see the game that way. Uh, but yeah, so it makes stuff like that really easy because it's not like the clicker's a big dangerous Watch enemy for Joel anymore as I have the Shiv Master upgrade, meaning I can just stab him in the face. I'll jump down there. Oh, today I don't have any, any do. I have Stubborn Soda, classic root beer. I think it's an alcohol brand. This doesn't have alcohol in it, it's just root beer. But I'm pretty sure Stubborn is like a alcoholic beverage brand. Maybe. I don't know. Maybe they do just make soda. Well, I hit the thing. I always love buying the like fancy bottled root beer. It makes me feel like a fancy person. <laughs> Even though it's just root beer. I always buy like, you know, the four packs of them or something. Like, I think I have some Stewart's and some IBC right now. And then like, I'll just drink it like maybe once a week or something. Cause I don't know, I feel like I used to drink them all the time and I was like, they don't feel special anymore. Now it's just like soda. So I have those I drink once a week or so. I love those, they're so good. Today I decided to go with the stubborn soda. Oh no, I swear I've seen an ad for that before where it's like alcoholic drink, but that is not. It's just a root beer. Unless it is. <laughs> and surprise! Wow. You want to take it easy. The lady, I bought it last night. The lady at the counter did not ask for and you my identification. Me off. So, I'm assuming well, it's not. Well, Even though I do know her very well. So, I don't think she would ask for my identification. If anybody was wondering, yeah, I live in a, I live in a pretty small town in a rural area of California, which sounds a little weird, but there are rural areas of California, it's not just big cities. Up we go! I don't know, I hear, I'm hearing like a growl, I don't like it. I'm pretty sure there's no zombies for the rest of the building, or if there is, it's just like one or two clickers or something, but... I don't know why that's scaring me. That was the big uh, set scene where you're supposed to be able to do fun stuff, but... Uh, oops. <laughs> I kind of I kinda goofed it up. <laughs> I 
I don't know, what do you think, if, anybody, if anybody saw that? you think it was uh, that they saw me through the wall, or do you think it's good? Because sometimes Joel will slam people like that, and the game won't, for some reason, uh, consider that to be uh, non-stealthy, so. Possibly. Or wait, no! There is definitely another big area where we can stealthy stealth. Is it in this building? I don't know. I don't remember. But it's one of my favorite parts of the game. I think, yeah, I'm like 99% sure it's right here. sleeve. Firefly. Yeah. Molotov. These guys aren't doing well in or out of the city. Let's hope there's someone alive to meet us. Molotovs are pretty fun. Maybe instead of doing this part stealthy stealthy, because... I don't know. This is why I think it's interesting to play the game this way. Because this part, I believe, is coming up. I could do stealthy... Um, and you have to do it stealthy the first time you play through the game. Oh, I already had something. But, um, you have to do it stealthy the first time you play through the game because it's, like, literally a room full of, like, ten clickers. But, in my current configuration, I can get away with this. So maybe, maybe let's see. Ah, uh, we'll see in a second. Maybe we won't do the stealthy stealths. Yeah, this is what I was thinking of. Yeah, there's, like, there's, like, ten clickers. And I believe scout. two runners on the left side. Okay, Joel, you take point. I'll watch the rear. Ellie, no matter what, you stay right on his heels. Sure. Oh, you'll watch the rear. You stay sharp. You'll watch the rear. Oh, because there's so much behind us. It's in their test. I don't know why I'm being mean to test like that. Oh, there's a full ship. That's pretty cool. See, because the game kind of gives you a full ship, and they're like, see? So, you have a ship now, but there's more than because like the game kind of sets you up to have three shivs and it's like but there's more than three clickers but i have like i have nine shivs kind of that's the way to do it so there's another runner okay they're facing away though at the end of the hallway so let's go so um incidentally it kind of seems like it like you'd have to be a distance away for them to not hear it no you can kill one of these guys just like that an inch behind a clicker and they will not know the difference which is a little weird so long as they don't echo locate you i do think that's something i don't know it's kind of weird in the game it's definitely not a mechanic that works very well if it was intended this way but they do kind of click on you and um if you're standing in front of it for an extended period of time they will they will like see you kind of Come here, boy. Which, I don't know, maybe it's just the glitch, or maybe it was intended that way. I don't think it works very well. Um, intended or not intended. Oh, see, like that. So that one saw me. Yeah, I don't know. Like, it, I think it echolocates you. I'm pretty sure that's what the game is uh, trying to tell you, but... Oh, see, I goofed up there. Um, in, the, in the normal game, I'd be dead. Currently. Oh my god, I don't want to wake you up. I just punched a clicker in the face. That's not allowed. <laughs> You're not supposed to be able to do that. Oh well. You're supposed to die when that happens, but we don't talk about that. I definitely got a little uh, braze in there. Maybe that's a downside of playing it this way. You kind of get brave because you're like, well, what's the worst that's going to happen? Can I make another ship? I'm like, I'm like bleeding ships right now. I shouldn't be, I shouldn't be doing what I'm doing. Because you have to remember some things expend an entire ship. Oh, I, I knew that. Yeah, they hide one guy here. Um, I believe there's the safe here. So they do hide a guy. <laughs> he didn't see me. Yeah, the, the runners do have that mode where they're just like sleeping, I guess. And they kind of just stand there like that. And um, even when you approach them from the front, you don't they don't see you. But when they're roaming or nom nomming on a body, they will uh, most definitely see you. So this mission is intended to be a ship dump, um, but as you see, 
I did not have to dump shivs because <laughs> even though I wasted an entire shiv stabbing the guy in the face, but because I, my shivs have a durability of three. But don't worry, the game goes up in difficulty very shortly here. So I believe, I'm pretty sure, did, is this guy still here? Oh, he's still here. Oh. What's out of this call? Shit. I forgot about that. <laughs> I thought he might, yeah, I thought he would have ran after me, but, um, yeah. I'm pretty sure you can sneak up on him from behind. Yeah. So clicker is easy to do that too. But as you saw, I did that to a runner, but it was a, it was a sleeping runner, I guess. But where is the note? So yeah, throughout the game, there are saves. Saves? I said like with the V, you know, like kind of how you do knives. That was really weird and retarded of me. But um, there are safes throughout the game. And uh, you will find a note in the area. It's always in the area. Um, sometimes it's a little far back that you're not sure you can get to it again, but you always can. Um, it's always in the little area and you find a note. I know where like all the notes are, <laughs> except for this one. I'm pretty sure it's just like here or something. Like it's in like one of the stores behind the counter. Oh, there it is. Note to Derek, yeah. So I, I was pretty sure it was just like, that's why I was going to all the storefronts because that's where I thought it was, but. How much durability do I have left? Oh, oh I lost my melee weapon entirely. Um, well, I want this, excuse me. I have 19 bullets. That's interesting. Because um, the first time you play through this game, I think it's a rumor there. This gun, like, I think this gun's fun. I think it's sad because it kind of reminds me of like a normal gun in a normal game. It shoots fast, you know, like, bah, 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 bah. <coughs> excuse me, but um, I feel like throughout the entire game, even though it's your very first starting weapon and it's not really that powerful, you never have like enough ammo for it. Um, ammo is very scarce in this game. It gets very scarce um, later. But because I feel like you blow through it all in these first missions here. But I'm wondering if, because occasionally you'll just find like a two stack of it laying somewhere random. You know, it's like a random drop of loot. And I'm just wondering if I'll rarely use it. So when it comes time that. Ooh. I'm pretty sure there's a training manual in there for your shivs. Oh, for your shivs. But, uh. But I, I'm kind of wondering if I'll have more ammo for it, because I'll, I'll very rarely be uh, spending the ammo for that gun. Because I'll, I'll be using the upgraded revolver and, you know, stuff like that. Because at the beginning of the game, normally, it's a pretty fun gun. I don't know, I just like the feel of it, but it's not actually, like, a good practical thing to use. Oh, there we go. Thank you, kindly, Tess. Get up here. I think there might have been more loot, like in the lockers, but oh well. That's why I thought that's the main reason I wanted to do this game, um, like this, is I still want to find loot Holy to upgrade shit. guns, like the safes. We actually and stuff. made it. Safes. Everyone okay? I keep doing it. The safes, yeah. <laughs> but uh. Let's move. I do want to find loot. Good at this stuff. I just, it's, it's kind of like I've already played through it. And it is going to run out. Oh, I love that line. It's called luck and it's going to run out. But, um, yeah, because I've already played through it, I was, I feel like it's, it's definitely better to play it where Joel will be OP through the beginning missions that aren't that hard and have a couple of fun things you can do. Even though I've, I've literally goofed the two, um, beginning missions, but... Yeah. So where are we going, Tess? Uh, Capitol Building's in this direction. It's a, <laughs> that was weird. I kind of hit the L3 to look, and then it just kind of spazzed out. But see, uh, I'm doing it still, but this is kind of what I didn't want in my reporting. The thing I'm currently doing is, like, you walk behind here, because you're like, oh, I know they hit a fire if I find it here, but it's like, I already got him, so... I just need to worry about the, the looty loots, the main looty loots. Yeah. So here's one thing there is uh, you need the trash can in here to get over the car. Uh, 
Does this work? Am I allowed to do this? <laughs> the game is perfectly fine. Oh, I guess she's like in her in her keeled over mode. For some reason I thought she was awake. I was like, oh. The game's perfectly fine with this situation. I do love that, by the way. Like, the noises they make, it's, it's truly horrifying how they, like, cry. And there's another entrance. I didn't want to sneak up on the front, even though we've done that earlier. Sometimes the game is not happy when you sneak up on the front of something. Why can't I can't see you through the wall? You don't exist! You're not real. That's not fair, game. Why is she not real? <laughs> Women are people too, you sexist game. Right? Last of Us. You're not PC enough. That was weird. Uh, let me get... I don't know, it's not like anybody watches, so I'm not going to offend anybody anyway. Some of that stuff. <laughs> okay. Good thing that was the last person. But I don't know, some of that stuff gets ridiculous. Like, um, my sister recently, All right. um, she graduated They're recently from... Infected. Those soldiers must have just turned. Yeah. Which means there's more in the area. We gotta go. She had recently graduated from Cal Poly. Um, Here we go. And Cal Poly is one of those schools that definitely has that, uh... That thing a lot of people like to meme on, you know, like kind of like that, that very uh, politically correct culture, I guess. And I don't know, it's kind of funny just like hearing all this stuff. Because I don't know, you see people like come up with the memes like, oh, I'm offended about like someone saying this or, you know, like something that's like completely normal. And it's actually kind of funny to actually hear that. And of course, like, obviously I'm not like sexist or racist or anything. Like, of course I, I agree with the main message of what they're trying to say, like, of course, LGBT rights are important, but, you know, I don't know, it's just, like, the way they go about those things, it gets a little silly, but that's a little, that's a little touchy of a su su subject, <laughs> but, I don't know, it's just interesting to actually hear, because, like, you always hear that, and you're like, ah, I'm a pretty liberal person, I know some pretty liberal people, and no one says anything like that, and I go to Cal Poly, and I'm like, wow, that was, uh, that was insane. Like, I, didn't, I didn't expect that that actually happened. They're but, coming. Uh, I know. Oh, jeez. <laughs> you got something on your shoe. <laughs> Me? You got some other shoe. Ugh. Okay, how do we get out of this place? Let's find out. <laughs> Jumpy jumps. So now we can hear me. Well, that's what she believes. Yeah, that's where you. That's an upgraded station. I mean, you must have been somewhere you shouldn't to find the most exit in the zone. Yeah, I, I'd sneak out. I was in this military boarding school. You'd sneak out? You know, explore the city. I was in the mall when I ran into Infected. That place is completely off limits. How the hell did you get in there? <coughs> I had my ways. Anyways, one of those, what you guys call runners, bit me, and that was that. I see. So there you go, that were was a little Marlene? story. When you were bitten? No. I went to her for help afterwards. <laughs> Knowing her, I'm surprised she didn't shoot you. I told you. Yeah, it's a little story. That's how she got bit. She snuck outside, went to a mall, got bitty bits. Um, she was with a friend, which is kind of, um, I think, I'm like 90% sure. Actually, I don't really remember. But uh, that was what happened um, in The Last of Us Left Behind. I'm pretty sure you get to see that. Um, but we will see that later. And uh, But that reveal is not until the end of the game. So yeah, as you see, my weapons are mostly upgraded. I am going to, my two starting weapons are now fully upgraded. This was already fully upgraded. I always think reload speed is kind of redundant. But on the second playthrough, the second plus playthrough, I will always upgrade it just to say like, hey, I finally played through a game. 
where everything was to the max level, even though reload speed will never at any point be that important. Um, pistol and long gun holsters are upgraded. So I forgot to set a timer for this video because um, I do have a 60 minute limit thanks to the PS4 recording system and I do not have a capture card to record excuse me, on my computer. So we'll go ahead and say this is a good spot yeah, to we're talking. end it before we carry on through the store. I keep, oh God, drink too much soda. But uh, we'll end it here and then I'll just record another video right now and they will upload on the same day because I'm not sure if this is like a 20 minute video which I think would be a little short as there is no editing or maybe it's a 30 minute video. So we will end it here and um, hopefully I will remember to do a double upload. Upload. I guess I call them episodes, so upload is a cool name. But I will try to remember to do a double episode um, if this is super short.